It's the second time this week police have fled in the face of danger. The public wants to know what's wrong with our city's finest. There have been a number of incidents over the past few days. Weird. What do you think, Ab? Are the cops turning chicken on us? Abby? Remember to project from the diaphragm and to enunciate. Abby, are you listening? Huh? Sorry. Auditions are today. We're doing a production of The Wizard of Oz. Cool, huh? Uh, okay. Anyway, what do you think's happening with these cowardly cops? Uh-oh! Auditions are in half an hour! Got a jet. Gee, thanks for your help, Abby. Hey, Sherlock, that cop in the video? She isn't running scared. She's gotta go. <gasps> Auditioning? Hmm? Oh, good for you, Abby. I admire your guts for trying out for the same role as me. Thanks for the support, as always, Paige. It's only fair to warn you, I've been taking private acting lessons for months now. And Daddy <laughs> even bought me a Toto. <laughs> By the way, is that a zit you have there? Ooh, bad timing. Where? Paige, you're on. <laughs> Little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle. Here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Would you like me to do another verse, Mr. Sheffer? <gasps> no, I mean, no, thank you. No, uh, that was plenty. Now, who's next? But I'm just warming up. And if I get a better spotlight with me... No, no, sorry, Paige, but we've got a lot of auditions to get through. Abby Archer, you're on. <clears throat> Stella! Stella! And the role of Dorothy goes to Abby Archer. Huh? Me? Really? Wow, I... I that's awesome! It's not... Paige, you will be the understudy for Dorothy. Understudy? For her? Yes, and if for some reason Abby can't go on, then you'd take over the part. Cheer up, Paige. Second place is right after first place. I'll be watching you, Abby Archer. One sniffle or cough and I'm Dorothy. Later, Paige. we thought were running from danger, we're actually running to the uh, facilities. You mean the toilets? <coughs> well, yes. The officers have experienced uh, digestive problems. Like heartburn, upset stomach? They think a little lower down the GI tract. Lower GI? Wait a minute. He's talking about the trots, the big D, diarrhea. Uh, please. Yep. The old dash and squat can really knock you flat. I remember how it just twisted my insides into knots and... Enough, please! Why call us in? The runs are no big deal. It might just be some bad meatloaf in the cop cafeteria. No, this sounds like more than just food poisoning. That kind of diarrhea only lasts a day or so. Cops have been dropping for over a week. 
There's been another robbery at the waterfront. The detective will fill you in. What have you got so far, detective? Well, this officer had the drop on the crooks, but unfortunately his stomach got the drop on him. It was weird. One minute I'm fine, then BAM! I need a toilet big time. Did you eat or drink anything at the police station today? No, I just come on duty and... Might as well snag us a sample. Hold that flush. Ah, this whole thing stinks. Yeah, diarrhea is like that. All these crimes happening just when half the force is down with the trots. And now there's that big museum opening tomorrow. The exhibit of Egyptian antiquities. Ty and I got our tickets weeks ago. We had to wait in line in the rain, but it's going to be totally worth it. I can't wait to see the mummies and... <laughs> <clears throat> and it's an obvious target for the crooks, of course, with all the gold and jewels and diamonds and such. Get what you needed? Yep, and plenty of it. Enough to run all kinds of tests. Want to see? I think I'll pass. See you tomorrow at the museum. We'll stake the place out. I got a hunch our crooks will make an appearance. We waited at the party all night and not one bad guy. Lots of bad breath, but no criminals. I don't get it. I was sure the crooks would make a move on these relics. At least we can get out of these tuxes. I thought the slime suits were tight. I'm gonna take one more look around. Listen. What's that sound? I didn't hear anything. I did. And it sounded like it was coming from in there. Movement and mummies are a bad combo. <gasps> If they harm one piece of mummified flesh, I'll goop shoot them into another dimension. You two, drop the sarcophagi and put your hands up. No, oh, man down, man down. Be right there, detective. <laughs> oh no. I'll take care of these two. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Abby! Abby, are you okay? Yes. No! I need more toilet paper. Hmm. Oh no. Eek. So the water at the police station was clean? Totally. Not a hint of giardia. A parasite. And the most common way diarrhea is spread through water in this country. Cool, huh? Hmm. It's no surprise the bug didn't come from the police station. Abby wasn't there, but she got sick anyway. What about that officer's stool sample? No salmonella, shigella, or virulent E. coli. The cop sample was normal. Except it looks like he doesn't chew his food very well. What about routine crime scene stuff? Fingerprints, fibers? Don't know. The detective called in sick. You were at that museum, and you didn't get diarrhea. Weird. Nature calling again? Oh, and with this, trust me, there's no call waiting. Places, everyone. OK. Abby, let's take it from the top. When you're ready. Abby, are you all right? Sure. Just need a moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little windy up there in Kansas, eh, Dorothy? No, that was me. <laughs> Abby, wh where are you going? Wow, that was unprofessional. Don't you think that was unprofessional, Mr. Sheffer? What you doing up this late, and why is the sound off? Didn't want to wake up Mom and Dad. Check it out. There's something on the video from those robberies I can't get out of my head. That guy with the violin case. See how he points it at the cop just before she gets the drops? Yeah, so what? So this. Check out the tape from the museum job. 
See, there he is again, pointing the violin case. And doesn't he look familiar? Wait. It's Lance Boyle! As in the former grossologist and all-round creep. Yeah, what a sleazeball. When the director fired him, he swore he'd get revenge on the department. You thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, not unless you're thinking about the porcelain throne. I guess she'll be up for a while. Might as well see what's on. Closed captioning is brought to you by Cork It. Diarrhea? Get instant relief. Attention all crooks and criminals. This is your chance to cause mayhem. Huh? Nobody's going to stop you. You rule the streets now. Thanks to me, the entire police force is doing the doo-doo dance. <laughs> <laughs> So, this gizmo's called the colonscope, huh? Oh, e yeah, it'll let us see inside your intestines to maybe get a clue what's causing the runs. Let the colonoscopy begin! I wish I was as jazzed up about this as you are, kid. Cool, bowel central. Spoken like a true grossologist. Let's amp up to 10,000 magnification. Those look like normal concentrations of the bacteria that's in everybody's GI tract. Nothing unusual so far. Whoa! What's going on? Looks like an earthquake in his bowel. Uh, folks, we're taking five here. You got a bathroom in this joint? What could cause that? Could be IBS. IBS? Irritable bowel syndrome. I should have thought of that. But you didn't. My bowel's been more than irritable. It's gone insane. Keep going, rat. Let me show you how our plumbing works. IBS, or spastic colon, interrupts your colon's regular movements. It makes your intestine squeeze too hard, causing your poop to take the express route out. My colon's been feeling a little like a super highway lately. Or, in other cases of IBS, the intestines don't squeeze hard enough, and everything slows down. AKA constipation. Oh, I dream about clogged colons. Hey, I just remembered something. Check this out, lab rat. We saw this last night, Ty. Saw, yes. But this time, we listen, and with the lab's high-tech equipment. You there, Bingo. Boyle is pointing that case at the cops. You it's, there, it's like the sound is coming out of it. Could he be giving them IBS? Can sound waves do that? Maybe infrasound. Low-frequency sound waves can cause spasms in the human body. In other words, infrasound waves plus normal intestinal waves equals a breakdancing colon. Oh. Oh. Sorry to interrupt amateur hour, but I have a message for you prepubescent clowns. Boyle, how'd you get on this frequency? <laughs> Please, I used to work there. Those security protocols are child's play to me. Work? More like sabotage. Firing you is the smartest thing the director ever did. Speaking of that puffed-up buffoon, here's the deal. Either he resigns and puts me in charge of the Bureau of Grossology, or every man, woman, and child in this city gets diarrhea. That's sick even for you, Boyle. Thanks, Abby. I wish I could compliment you, but I can't think of a thing. You'll never get away with this. Stock up on toilet paper and watch me. You have until noon tomorrow. Oh, wait. I forgot to laugh maniacally. <laughs> That'll be the director with our orders for taking down Lance Boyle. <gasps> Mr. Sheffer! Hi! Sorry I missed rehearsal yesterday. I, uh, had a boil that needed lancing. And you had a cold the day before that. Or was that the day that you had to take your pet ostrich to the vet? I have been a little under the weather, but I'm better now. I'm sorry, Abby. You seem too preoccupied to prepare for the role. I'm afraid I had to give the part of Dorothy to Paige. No, please. You can't do that. I really want to do this. I'm sorry, Abby, but it's for the good of the play. Aw, oh, tough break, Abby. But maybe you can still be in the play. Like a stagehand or something. Gee, she's all heart. Tell me about it. We're here, sir. Grossologists, I thought it over and there's no choice but to give Boyle what he wants. Let him take over the Department of Grossology? You gotta be kidding. Have you any idea what's going on out there? 
Please, give Labrat a chance. I trust him with my life and my bowels. Fine, but you have only until noon. Then I call Boyle. I just don't know if this defensive shield is going to work, guys. Since I'm not sure what frequency Boyle's using, it's all guesswork. We don't have much time left before the director caves. We've got to figure this thing out. Boyle says he's going after the entire city, right? That would take forever with a single weapon in a violin case. Hmm. Zapping everybody in town would require an unobstructed shot. Which would mean a high elevation. Mount, Mount Kelpie! Wait a sec! Parting gifts. They should provide a barrier against the sound waves. They contain a random white noise generator that should create interference by matching and canceling incoming frequencies. Should? Didn't you test them? Testing is for amateurs. Or people with time. Now make like horse droppings and hit the trail. Your defensive shield fit okay? Oh yeah, I feel like a supermodel. How humiliating is this? It beats soiling your slime suit, doesn't it? True, been there, done that, don't recommend it. That little rodent of a director has one minute to respond. And if he doesn't, we dish up an outbreak of diarrhea that'll go down in history. Hey, this is your best job ever, boss. Excellent toadying. Now, let's juice this thing up. Your history, boy! <gasps> Goop shooters are so yesterday, kiddies. Try a dose of the future. Hey, we're okay. Lab rat, you rock. No matter. It's too late anyway. Your hometown is already flushed and circling the ball. Power-up sequence initiated. Abby, what do we do now? We admit defeat, Ty. We've been beaten by a superior mind. Huh? What are you talking about? Reality. Lance has the upper hand. We'd be fools to stick with that loser director. He's done nothing but grab the credit for everything we do. What? Join Boyle? Abby, what's up with you? What indeed? If this is some sort of con, I'm not buying it. Don't then. But a girl has a right to get herself on the winning side. Abby, no! Go ahead. Take it. We're working together now. I'm with you. Don't do it, Abby. You'll regret it. He never did know when to shut up. Satisfied? Not yet. Zap your hometown with a trot ray. Push the button. Then I'll be satisfied. No, I'll go go. It'd be my pleasure, sir. Or should I say, director? <laughs> Grab a magazine, Boyle. You're heading for the can! 30 seconds until firing. 29. Misery 20, loves company. And now the whole city will have the runs. Nice going, grossologists. Come on, Ty. We haven't got much time. We've got to stop it. Uh -huh. I can't figure it out. Hey, what are you doing? I'm cycling through random frequencies. If I can find the one opposite to the machines, then it should cause interference. And instead of the runs... Constipation! Good thinking, Abby. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two... Got lucky today. It'll be different next time. Why didn't I put a toilet in this thing? Oh. Wow, you really can act. You not only fooled Boyle, but me too. You would have made a great Dorothy. Yeah.
Lance Boyle's lair, chaos, crime, and confusion are specialty. Tell your boss the director will agree to his demands. No need, sir. Boyle's been busted. He won't be battering any bowels for a while. Abby? Uh, oh, um... <clears throat> Uh, excellent work. And uh, for the record, I never seriously considered surrendering to Boyle. But you just did. Uh, sorry, um, you're breaking up. Abby, thank goodness I found you. Can you play Dorothy tonight? What? I mean, sure. But what happened to Paige? I can't be seen on stage with this on my nose! This zit is huge! <laughs> yeah, that thing is big enough to have a role of its own. I rehearsed really hard all week. I can't believe I won't be in the play. Hey, there is one part where your zit would be hidden. Really? What? It's a pivotal character. The whole plot depends on it. What are you thinking of, Abby? <laughs> that could work. Huh? Oh, <laughs> Wicked Witch of the East, I'll get you, Abby Archer. And that dog, too. 